can't see. I, I can't see where the middle is. Where's the middle? Is that about it? There. That's close. It's just been very dark. Ladies and gentlemen, um, as you know, we're all about the same age in here, aren't we? How old are you? 37, same as me. Anyone else 37? No one else. Well, I, I'm 37. Leave it out, it's just an act. But I work with this gentleman who's coming on now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in around about 1979, when I was minus something. And since that time, in my eyes, he's become a national treasure. He has, in the last couple of years, been awarded a papal knighthood by the Pope himself. Give a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? Put your hands together for the one, the only, Mr. Jimmy Cricket! Ladies and gentlemen, you're very, very welcome. <laughs> Come in. I got the taxi tonight. He said that'll be six quid. I said I've only got a fiver. Could you reverse back a bit? <laughs> well, we've got to count the pennies, haven't we? You know what I love about a live show, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It helps you forget your problems and your worries, doesn't it? Come here twice. <laughs> this fella knocked my door. He said, I'm your new next door neighbor. I said, that's funny, I haven't moved anywhere. <laughs> and that night, he came into my house. He came in the back door, I was facing the front door. He said, how many rolls of wallpaper did you take to do your living room? I said, 12. He was in a week later. He said, I've got two rolls left over. I said, so have I. <laughs> and there's more. He ran into my house one morning. Yeah, it was morning because it was dark the night before. <laughs> He said, I was going to the newspaper shop and your dog went for me. I said, well, he's never went to the newspaper shop for me. <laughs> I wish he would go. He said, didn't I see you standing in a field all on your own for six hours? I said, next door neighbor, you did. I was trying to get an OBE. He said, how do you mean? I said, I read in the newspaper, you get an OBE if you're outstanding in your field. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if we've got our health, we've got everything. What do you think? Come here, pull your seats forward. You know, I was in the doctor's <coughs> room and a little man came in like this. And five minutes later, he came out of the doctor's surgery like this. I said, little man, no, we didn't like that. Come out like that, come here. What exactly did the doctor do? He said, he gave me a bigger walking stick. <laughs> see the doctor once. I said, doctor once, come here. <laughs> I think my eyesight's failing. He said, it's gone completely. This is the laundrette. <laughs> and doctor, doctor this morning, close the door. I keep thinking I'm a famous rock and roll singer. He said, that'll be the day. I said, you see, it's kind of... <laughs> And doctor, there's twice as more. Close the door three times. I've got a right toe on my left foot and a left toe on my right foot. 
He said, you've got myxomatosis. <laughs> What an act this is. The doctor gets all the funny lines. <laughs> but it's great to see you all tonight here at the Dome with these wonderful acts, you know, for Sue and, and for the, uh, the charities, the, de the dementia and the, the cancer, and all the, the grit and the fire. You see, things are tough in show business these days, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and uh, you have to seize every opportunity. Come here. <laughs> I rang up director inquiries. He said, your call may be recorded. So I signed two songs and I went to the <laughs> Any day now, we come up the hallway. I rang home last week. It was an answering machine. It was me telling myself I was me. So I left a message <laughs> telling me I'd speak to myself whenever I got back. <laughs> if I ask you an answer, will you give me a question? <laughs> Come here, everybody. Lean on. Do you like coffee? Who likes coffee? Right. You know the way if some people have coffee, they can't sleep. I'm the exact opposite. If I'm asleep, I can't have coffee. <laughs> what a dream I had the other night. Can I share this? Can I? I dreamt I was walking through the desert. <coughs> oh no, oh no, the sound of the software. <laughs> And who should I see but Westlife? I thought it was them. It turned out to be Oasis. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and I like to keep the act fresh, you know. You know, I was gutted when my alarm clock broke. I thought, how on earth am I going to get out of bed in the night? And then I remembered herself. Mrs. Cricket. She bought one of those electric bread mixers in the car boot sale. So I took it up the stairs. I brought it into the bedroom. I put it on the bed, put the dough in, turned the timer, fell asleep, and we both rose at the same time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we don't get the service these days, do we? You know, I rang up the optician, and he's no good. Well, he told me he couldn't see me. <laughs> what sort of an optician is that? How do they get the jobs? He said, have your eyes ever been checked? I said, no, they've always been this color. <laughs> He said, read me the first letter on the wall. I said, A. He said, you're deaf as well. <laughs> he said, it's two pairs of glasses for the price of one today. I said, well, that's all very well, Mr. Optician, but I can't wear two pairs of glasses at once. He said, no. The second pair is if you lose the first. I said, what happens if I lose the second pair? He said, we'll put the first pair on, have a look at the second <laughs> He sold me a pair of glasses and a pair of contact lenses. He was a double glazing salesman. <laughs> now, we've got to help each other right through this Brexit, haven't we? You know, I'm cutting down. So far this week, I bought a watch on tick. A pair of glasses on spec. <laughs> Are you ready for the third? <laughs> a Peter Pan DVD on the Never Never. 